Hello, I'm Oksana and this video is going to be on the Bare Minerals Ready Convertible Eyeshadow Palette. And here is what the packaging of it looks like. And inside it tells you all of the colors and their names. It comes with a little piece of paper that just kind of lets you know, you know, how to pop them out and how to apply as well as a few looks right here that you can do. There is Icon, Siren, and Trendsetter. Those are the three different looks. And the palette itself looks like this. Here's the back of it. And all of the number all of the numbers, all of the colors are numbered from one to three. One being the lightest that is meant to be a let's see what they're calling it as a base and then two being the crease color and three being the liner color so that is how they break it down and as you can see these little lines right here that makes this pop right out if I can do it all right here we go um, the problem with it is you want to remove this little plastic and then it'll be much easier to pop the thing out. But here is the little compact with the mirror and the three little shades. So you can take three eyeshadows to go and you can pick any three that you want. That's kind of the appeal of this. Okay. All right, now I have it put back together to show you. And here is what it looks like. And it does come with this little paper and this says the name of all the colors and it also says whether it's a crease, a liner, or a base. So first of all, as with all the other ready eyeshadows that I've tried for Bare Minerals, from Bare Minerals, I think that these are excellent quality. I think that they're soft and buttery and pigmented and I just really like the quality of the shadows. I think that this palette is a really good deal because these are much larger, these little squares. As you can see, they're pretty big compared to their previous palettes that they released for holiday time. They released ones with eight eyeshadows in them and they were much tiny little squares. So this is more expensive, but you get more product um, of each color and you get 12 instead of eight. So I believe that the eight ones were $40 and this is 48, but I got it during their friends and family sale. So it was 20% off. So this is a better deal than previous years, but I kind of like the eight pan ones better. I mean, they're obviously not as cool because you can't rearrange them how you want and have a little tiny palette to take with you. Um, but honestly, they're like this, they're almost the same size as this one. So you can take them with you and have eight eyeshadows instead of just three, you know? So this is kind of fun and cool, but I don't like it as much as the eight, um, ready 8.0 eyeshadows that they have had the past two, um, holiday releases. And by the way, I forgot to mention, but these are not magnetic or anything. They just pop out. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but there's like these little ridges on both sides and that makes them just kind of pop in and out. So it's by force <laughs> that they're popping out. There's no magnets or anything like that. And another thing that um, I don't quite like as much about this palette is the choice of shades. So some of these colors are, they're either really dark or really light. <laughs> so these are all really light and then these are all really dark. But this purple is supposed to be a crease color, like a medium color, where I think it's almost as dark as some of these other ones. And then same with this green. And these two are really the only like actual medium toned shades. I just don't think that you need that many super dark shades. 
I know that somebody might prefer um, a, a dark black versus a dark brown versus a navy versus, you know, a green versus a purple, but um, I don't think that one person will use all of these different dark liner colors and also using a really dark color as a liner you will it'll take a long time for you to use it up you know because you just use a little bit even if you use it not just as a liner but like in your outer V it'll still take a long time whereas some of these lighter shades they'll get used up much quicker and the lighter shades are actually all not all, but three of them are very similar. I feel like they could have made them a little bit different for, from each other. So there's these two pinks right here. And one is a little bit more kind of peachy, whereas the other one is lighter. But you can see that they're similar. One's a little bit more metallic too, whereas this one is kind of more of a suede type shade. And then the three kind of ivory type shades here's what they look like they are pretty similar as well you do have two of them that are matte and the two mattes one is a little bit lighter and a little bit peachier than the other but other than that I'll show you more official swatches in this um, later on but they're very similar and then the only non matte one of those ivory shades probably looks the lightest because it has like a little pearly reflection to it but they're just all so similar I just think it's kind of an odd choice of colors for a palette like very very similar light shades and then just very very dark shades you know and there is a little bit of color with that purple and green if you wanted to add a pop of color but look how dark they are I mean this wouldn't be much of a, you know, colorful eyeshadow look. It's more like a smoky dark look with a little bit of color to it. They are all pretty and they're nice quality shades, but just for me personally, the choice of colors isn't doing it for me. It probably would have been better to have just like a very neutral, natural palette and then a uh, more of like a funky colorful palette. I know that personally I would have liked that better than trying to please everybody and forcing you know all these different colors like we must have a brown and a black and a navy and a purple and a green you know to just cover all our bases <laughs> and then just two kind of mid-tone neutral brown shades one a little bit warmer than the other and than the rest like really light shades that are very similar you know it's just kind of I think it's hard to please everybody and I think it's better to have multiple palettes that um, like they've had in the past you know they've had like a warm one and a cool tone one when they would release their ready 8.0 palettes for the holidays they would usually release two and I think that that just works better than trying to squeeze <laughs> trying to cover everybody in one palette so that's just my personal opinion um, if you know there's definitely gonna be some people that all of these colors appeal to you and that's you know great but for me this isn't my favorite palette from them I do think it's unique and innovative with the um, convertible aspect of it and I do think that the eyeshadows themselves are really good quality but I probably would have preferred a different mix of colors. That's all I'm trying to say. So now I'm going to show you the swatches of all of these. So here are swatches, indoor lighting. First are the two matte shades, Stealth and Daydream. Next are the two light pearly shades, Mixologist and Muse. Next is a slightly deeper pink shade called Custom Made. Next are Hot Commodity and embellish. Hot Commodity is kind of a metallic, very warm brown, and embellish has a more visible shimmer in there, and it's not as warm. Next is Max Volume, a blackened, very dark green, and then, and then in Vogue, which is that dark, yet a little bit vibrant, still purple. And last are Perspective, Maven, and Panorama. 
And those are the matte or nearly matte, very dark liner shades, brown, navy, and black. Although the navy in certain lighting, it's kind of hard to tell that it's navy. It almost looks like a very dark gray. So that is all of them. Here is what they look like. So here's what these look like outdoors in the sunshine. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.